I'm Bong Arceo. I'm from Angeles City. Uh, right now, I work as an elected official, barangay official, uh, barangay Santo Domingo, and, and I'm 56 years old. That uh, ang concern ko yung mga black spots dito na yan. Caga, sure. Konting uh, sabi nila may pag-asa pa to. At uh, konting yung mga wrinkles dito. Alam mo naman, uh, pag public servant ka, kailangan uh, dahil marami kang nakakausap ng mga iba't ibang tao araw-araw, you need to be, siyempre, presentable. Yan. So, kasama yung face dyan, yung face value. So, kaya ako nandito para uh, magawa ng paraan. <laughs> Yan. So, si Dr. Contesa is an old friend, a churchmate, at uh, very close to us, very dear to us. Nagkataon po, it's a blessing na siya pala ang nagtayo at ang CEO ba? CEO ng uh, CSA. So, praise the Lord. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the button, like button, subscribe. Good day everyone! Welcome to the CSA Medical Aesthetics. I'm Dr. Contessa, your Certified Aesthetic Physician. In today's episode, we have a new guest. Let's welcome Sir Bong Arceo. Welcome po! Hello, man. Hi, Doc! Yan, Kuya Bong, we've known each other long time ago. Yan, people days na, Kuya. Opo. Yan, hindi naman nagkakalayo yung age natin. Okay, and Sir Bong now is so busy. You're into? Yeah, uh, public service. Opo, uh, right. uh, barangay official po tayo ngayon. Yes, Dito po. sa Angeles at uh, siyempre pag ganun, marami kang nakakausap everyday na iba-ibang tao. So, And they're looking at our face. Opo. And like na. parang sometimes they're scrutinizing yung anong nasa mukha ni Sir. Yun. Hmm. And I did an assessment on Sir Bong a while ago. Like I've noticed some redness, um, irritations or like... Well, these are manifestations of like skin allergies, okay? So on the forehead area, on also the sides of the nose. So sensitive ang skin ni Sir Bong. Very sensitive. Okay. Yan. Sometimes, like when when you go outside or sun exposure, some people react to the extremes of heat. So you'll notice na lang nagiging red na red yung skin nila. Tapos nagiging dry skin, and then you'll notice some flakiness. Sometimes you'll have this itchiness, yun po, and then also discolorations. So these kinds of skin conditions, this dermatitis, specifically po kasi yung kay Sir Bong is called seborrheic dermatitis. So yung seborrheic, from the word seborrhea or sebum, mga oils po ng skin. So our skin kasi has sebaceous glands. Yung po yung mga oil glands. Siyempre, the oil will also help lubricate the skin. So, meron din siyang protective function. Ang nagiging problem lang, pag overproduction, and then your skin can react doon sa sobrang-sobrang sebum or oils. So, nagkakaroon na ng irritation ng skin. Nagkakaroon na ng redness, itchiness, inflammation, swelling, flakiness. Yun na po yung nangyayari, the process happening after you have this kind of condition. And it becomes on and off. You'll notice na lang, there will be times na parang okay, there are times na it's severe, there are times na it's controlled, there are times it's not controlled. And there are aggravating factors. Okay? I think number one na dyan, pag napakain si Sir, si, si Sir ng mga, yan, yung mga medyo, yung mga bowel na food, mga seafoods, Seafood. yan, shrimps. Ano pa? Masasarap. Crabs. <laughs> Yan. Lobsters. Yes. Mga, may mga, mga shellfish, no? Opo. Yan. Yung mga mussel, mga... Ayan. Uh, Unfortunately, <laughs> po yun. Opo. Yan. Um, chicken. 
Yan, chicken eggs. Berries. Yan, okay. malalansa. Okay. So, you'll notice na lang, your skin becomes itchy, may redness na, and then, sometimes po parang nag elevate or parang swollen na yung skin. Okay? So, these kinds of inflammatory reactions po, when our skin will start to heal from the inflammation, so initially, it's red. However, time will come, yung redness will turn into what we call post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So, you'll notice na lang, some parts of your skin, merong dark, dark discoloration. Meron naman, the opposite, hypopigmentation. May namumuti. Mm -hmm. So, you'll notice that po. So, these kinds of skin conditions will have like this, over time, reactions. So, affected yung skin color, yung mga pigments ng skin natin, yung mga nagpaproduce ng mga pigments na yan, could either be dark colored siya or light colored. So, you'll notice po, Sir Bong, no? may area na may dark, may area naman na nagla-light siya. Yun. And areas na exposed to sun, yan. Ang reaction po to UV rays is pigmentation. Natitrigger yung mga melanocytes. Yun, masyado ng scientific kuya mo. <laughs> and of course, if you have trigger factors, well, we advise, avoid trigger factors. But it's so difficult to do that on a daily basis because especially if you're working, you go out, then of course, in the Philippines, all throughout, it's summer. Summer season, lagi ang, ang Pilipinas is so hot here. So, these are factors na we have to also avoid. And at the same time, we have to know what will be the management? Yun po. So we, we have some medicines that we usually prescribe here. Now, because we have these discolorations and we're here in, in CSA, our um, aesthetic uh, center here, we have some treatments, non-surgical, okay, and of course, conservative methods, especially for individuals na sensitive on skin. We have some devices or machines to somehow reduce inflammation and to improve the color, the skin tone, the skin quality. Somehow naman, Sir Bong wants to kind of, of course, improve your skin condition, right? Yan right. po. So what kind of treatment, what procedure will show you when CSA Medical Aesthetics returns? And we're back, so we're still with Sir Bong. So we did apply a carbon lotion and we're covering the eye area with our goggles. Now we're using a device called the Hollywood Spectra. This is a Q-Switch 1064 ND YAG or the Neodymium Yttrium Aluminum gar Garnet type of a laser, okay? We have, um, uh, these are lasers. Because when you say laser, laser is like an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Mm -hmm. And this was uh, a theory uh, originating from Albert Einstein. Yan po. Si Albert Einstein ang nag theorize ng stimulated emission of radiation. So right now, we're using these devices to also help improve skin conditions. And for Kuya Bong, specifically a so called um, separate dermatitis inflammatory skin condition. So we want to reduce the redness and kind of calm down the skin as well and also help some skin peptides to, you know, repair and help regenerate the skin. Plus, anti-aging na rin, Kuya, Kuya Bong. And then we'll combine with some depigmentation later on. So I have a carbon lotion applied. We left it for about 10 minutes and we want those uh, epidermal uh, layer to adhere to the carbon lotion. So we want the dead cells to kind of associate ayan, doon sa mga carbon gel na nilagay natin. And then we'll use this device. So again, I have a Q-switch device here, 1064 and the YAG laser, okay? So I need to cover my, my eyes with this ayan, goggles also to protect my eyes. So if you're using laser, we need the cover for our eye area and I need some gloves here. So I'll be doing the so-called Hollywood uh, carbon peel and with the mode for specifically for inflammatory skin condition and one more. And then actually settings are like uh, followed here. So we have the GUI of the device or the graphics user interface. So we have to follow certain settings like what is the uh, energy, what, what is the pulse duration, what will be my spot size, wavelength. Okay, so I'll start with the wavelength here. So we have the 1064 spectrum mode and a 0.9 influence energy there. And then some of the frequency. So some numbers here on the screen of the device. Okay, 
And we'll start with the forehead area. Okay. So, Kuya Bong, isang shot lang muna po, ha? One shot. Yan. How was that? Wala naman po, no? Painless. Nothing. So, I'll just proceed with this step one of our Hollywood laser peel. Okay, I'll start with the forehead area. Step 1, we're proceeding to the step 2. Now, with the step 2, we will be using the Q-Switch PTP mode or Twin Pulses. This Q-Switch mode has like a single pulse, two pulses, triple to quadruple pulses. So, we're doing the Twin Pulses. So, a while ago with the step 1, we heated up the carbon lotion so as there will be a better adhesion with that of the dead cell layer. Now, in step 2, we're doing the so-called exfoliation of the dead cells together with the carbon lotion. So, this will also do a so-called epidermal turnover. So, kuya, yung mga flaky areas and dead cell areas, we also want to slough them off. So, kind of you're doing skin cell renewal or skin cell resurfacing. So, yung new cells mo ang magre-resurface, okay? So, we're doing on the forehead first. And there will be two passes. A while ago, it's a single pass. Right now, two passes. Okay? Okay, the next step. The step 3 will be using the Spectrum Mode 1064, but we will already increase the fluence, the energy to 2.4. So this will be the step whereby we will uh, induce a so-called sebaceous gland contraction. So we mentioned natin kuya a while ago that you have this hyperactivity of your sebaceous glands. Mm -hmm. So this will help also kind of control yung mga sebaceous glands po. Kasi that's actually the the problem tissue sa skin natin, okay? So, we'll induce sebaceous gland contraction. At the same time, improve skin elasticity. So, may kasama anti-aging. Yan. Plus, yung mga skin pores, they will be tightly closed, okay? So, I'll start again with the forehead area, okay?
we're done with the three-step Hollywood laser peel. Now we want to treat this PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation on the lateral forehead okay, or near the temple area. Okay, So this part here, because actually I was asking a while ago, like, uh, was there a, a history of like an skin irritation? Most of the time, this is like from, from sun exposure. Bakuya, like when you're outdoors and uh, certain parts of our skin gets this uh, post-sun exposure pigmentation. Plus, of course, your con skin condition where you have this kind of dermatitis, you're prone to developing PIH or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So I have here in my spectra, it also has a mode or a function for targeting PIH. Okay, so we have the Q or rather the... So it has either using spectra mode or the Q-Switch 1064. Okay, so we're using the 1064 Q-Switch. And then we have a fluence of 1.4. So we're, we have a certain like parameter or guidelines to follow what is the right setting, what will be the pulse duration and the spot size. Okay, so I'll just be targeting this one and I can do a so-called three passes of this one. Okay, so this part here, is it okay? Okay, and then just a first pass, and then I'll be I'll be doing a second pass. So you can do like three to five passes of this one. Okay. There you go. So we're just targeting the pigmented area. I think the left side is more pigmented than the right side, so the right is lesser. So we'll just be doing. Three passes here. I'll be adding two passes on the left side. So two passes. Okay. Then the last one. So there you go. We've done the Hollywood Spectra treatment. The combined uh, anti-inflammatory at the same time anti-PI age. Then I was assessing the forehead area. I was asking Sir Bong if it's okay to do a micro Botox. We'll do also micro Botox later on. For now, we'll just show the result to Kuya Bong when CSA Medical Aesthetics return. And we're back, so let's show the result. Sir Bong, here's a mirror just for you to check on your skin appearance right now. So mm -hmm. still we have some erythema and some parts that we still have this kind of like because uh, I did some micro Botox injections so a bit of a will formation or a papule formation but in a little while it's gonna flatten so we did the combination Hollywood laser carbon peel we also did the anti PIH okay and the Hollywood laser is a very good device also for individuals with some skin conditions some inflammatory problems because it has anti redness anti-inflammation and of course skin cell renewal and anti-aging yeah and also we've mentioned about sebaceous gland contraction plus improvement of the skin elasticity skin quality okay because look if we have history of a certain kind of dermatitis the skin quality actually because you'll notice some redness there mm -hmm. some yun nga, may mga flakes and irregular color or um, imbalance skin tone yung color texture the skin not so good because of like your skin is sensitive mm -hmm. so your barrier your skin barrier already kind of like not so 100 percent functioning already so we have some treatments to improve that so at least we have this device the so-called nda glazer to improve the quality of the skin and kuya micro botox to reduce the lines Although we have static lines, Sir Bong, yours is already classified static. There are two kinds, kasi, the dynamic and the static, and Botox only treats the dynamic. For the static line, meaning to say, it created already a dent in the skin layer, so mm -hmm. there were already broken collagen there. So how was the experience, po, Sir Bong? Was it painful? Was it like ah, something scary or tolerable? Yeah, it's there. You go. The word is tolerable. Kaya kaya. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You, you felt some like because I do this too on myself, like tiny pricks and heat sensation. Yeah, but it's to tolerable overall, right? And mm. ito, wala namang needles. 
So we didn't do any injection with this kind of device. Okay, so you'll just lie down and then something something like that, but it's okay, it's good. For other others, they were saying it's relaxing. Oh, yun nga eh. The other Parang were saying. Bitin eh. <laughs> so, ibig sabihin, susundan talaga. Okay po. So, we can like, yeah, actually, this uh, procedures, we have to do like a follow-up treatment again. It's done in sessions po. So, so we'll still do a follow-up treatment for, for Sir Bong and monitor his skin condition. Plus, prescribe, of course, some anti seborrheic dermatitis. The good thing is he has already topical medications for this skin condition already. Sir Bong, thank you so much. Thank you po. Yeah, thank we're you. so uh, blessed to have you. <laughs> Opo, uh, push the button. Okay, so, po. Any social media they, they could follow you? Are you into that? No, not, po, not uh, really. Yeah. Follow her. Okay. So, uh, Thank first, you. First time ko and uh, yes, po. Sulit po, sulit. Thank you so Thank much. You. There you, you go. We'll still see some more improvements. We'll follow up. Okay, for those who have questions, you may email us at CSA Skin Clinic at yahoo.com, our FB page. CSA Medical Aesthetics, Instagram CSA Medical Aesthetics. Our clinic is located here at the Infinity Shop, Pulong Maragul, Angeles City. Contact number 0933-860-9193 or 0917-504-4268. So also watch our uh, videos in our YouTube channel, Contessa Salvador. And God bless you all. When it comes to natural beauty, you can trust the CSA Medical Aesthetics.